Welcome to Royal Secrets. The only red carpet event we enjoy more than a glamorous one is one that benefits a worthwhile cause. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The prestigious Baby 2 Baby charity conducted its annual gala on November 12th. We couldn't get the images of so many A-list celebrities attending in eye-catching, expensive outfits out of our brains. The amazing non-profit Baby 2 Baby has held a star-studded gala for the past 11 years to honor those who have significantly aided their goal of helping children in poverty. They have assisted with numerous crises that have impacted kids worldwide throughout the years, most notably trying to address the inflation and baby formula supply issues. The prestigious Baby 2 Baby charity conducted its annual gala on November 12th, we couldn't get the images of so many A-list celebrities attending in eye-catching, expensive outfits out of our brains. The amazing non-profit Baby 2 Baby has held a star-studded gala for the past 11 years to honor those who have significantly aided their goal of helping children in poverty. They have assisted with numerous crises that have impacted kids worldwide throughout the years, most notably trying to address the inflation and baby formula supply issues. The Giving Tree Award was given to none other than Kim Kardashian at the Baby 2 Baby Gala this year in recognition of her contributions to Baby 2 Baby and her lengthy commitment to aiding children in need. Vanessa Bryant, Jessica Alba, Jennifer Garner, Kate Hudson, and Drew Barrymore are just a few examples of previous recipients of this prize. Kardashian is now included on this distinguished list, and it appeared that every famous person was there to support both Kardashian and Baby 2 Baby. Additionally, almost everyone dressed to the nines on the blue carpet. This red carpet was a pleasure to behold, with everything from ethereal hot pink gowns to shimmering cape combinations. In another news, as she conveniently waffles over whether she wants to join or leave the firm, Meghan Markle enjoys nothing more than exploiting royal connections for personal advantage. Despite renouncing her, Her Royal Highness, title in 2020, Meghan continues to utilize the royal crown on her letterheads, which informs us one thing in particular, Meghan is able to get what she wants. Privacy-seeking Meghan continues to eagerly keep us informed of her efforts to better the world and its inhabitants. Her podcasts keep us up to date on what makes her unique, while her PR crew frequently verbally abuses us into thinking that she is an exemplary human being. For World Kindness Day on Sunday, Hello! Magazine, which aimed to shine a light on the most inspirational people, included Meghan in its category of trailblazers, alongside Michelle Obama, according to the article, Meghan, speaks for women everywhere. Despite being on the bottom end of the royal list, Harry has been receiving accolades alongside his wife lately. It's difficult to accept. Senior members of the royal family, such as Catherine, Princess of Wales, have endured a great deal of disrespect from Meghan. Even though the pair was already in the UK just a few days before the Queen passed away, she and Harry turned down the opportunity to see Her Majesty. Additionally, Meghan has been charged with harassing some of the female employees she had in the UK. She recently addressed the accusation in a podcast, avoiding what she referred to as the B-word. She claimed, in an attempt to defend herself, that calling a woman a B-word is a way to mask some of her very amazing traits. Meghan can be seen in a photo on the joint Archule Foundation website sporting an Archule cap and a sticker that reads, I voted, on her sweater. For individuals who are unsure how to vote, the website itself provides helpful advice such as, verify polling location and, bring refreshments in case the wait is long. Markle is actively advocating for women in the US to have access to paid leave and is well versed in American politics. She can cast her vote in America because she did not get British citizenship. She is still a member of the royal family, though, and as such is required to avoid politics, refrain from expressing an opinion, and maintain objectivity. While being British royals, the couple has grown tired of lecturing Americans about how to run their nation. While everything is going on, some of her fellow countrymen are spending up to $1 million to mingle with the couple, who will be presented with yet another honor on December 6 at a glamorous Ripple of Hope Gala in New York. Thanks for watching.